Well, some seem absolutely determined to try and ignore the fact, and it is a fact, that Reform UK won over 4 million votes at the last general election and was the third most popular party. Uh, those trying to ignore that are the same kind of people that were trying to convince you and themselves, I think, that Kamala Harris was going to defeat uh, Donald Trump. And that didn't go very well, uh, did it? But a huge outcry now when it comes to Nigel Farage as leader of Reform UK not being invited to lay a wreath at the Cenotaph. Of course, you did see Sir Keir Starmer, Kemi Badnock, Sir Ed Davey, whose Liberal Democrats got far fewer votes than Reform, as did the SNP. Uh, they all laid a wreath in Westminster on Sunday. But Nigel Farage, along with the Green leader, co-leader, Carla Denyer, had to watch from a balcony. The argument being that you have to have six MPs at least to take part in that aspect of the ceremony, though the DUP, uh, with five MPs, were able to, their leader. Apparently, this goes back to a addendum to a 1984 protocol. Now, Nigel has said he's personally not complaining, but other people are, and they include the likes of Deputy Reform Leader Richard Tice, who was asked, why were Reform not allowed to lay a wreath? We got more votes than the Lib Dems, SNP and DUP combined, yet they all laid wreaths. Shameful stitch up. Another Reform MP, Rupert Lowe, saying it was wrong to block Nigel from laying a wreath at the Cenotaph yesterday alongside other leaders and that the establishment may not like it, but millions of voters backed reform at the last election. They deserve to have proper representation at the service. Uh, Patrick O'Flynn, they're also saying that it was a complete disgrace and the sort of thing that further corrodes respect for our political processes and in the Telegraph's uh, poll at time of recording, 76% of Telegraph readers saying yes, Nigel should have been allowed to lay a wreath. Uh, do let me know your thoughts on that please in the comments below. As ever, I will keep bringing you all the latest on this and much more. So please do whack this video a quick thumbs up. And of course, as ever, cheers for watching.